Hi everyone. Welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a few coasters. I'm doing the Shelly Technique. Um, I'm going to be using Titanium White, um, Amsterdam Cell Activator, and also the Black uh, Mer Amsterdam Black Oxide. So I'll be using both of those on the same coaster. The colors I'm using um, is Amsterdam Blue Green. That's a transparent color right here. It's real pretty. Then Basics Cadmium Yellow Light Hue, which is a semi-transparent color. Then I'm using Basics Magenta, Cronactodone Magenta. That's semi-transparent. Basics Phalo Green, semi-transparent. And then I'm using this, this is sort of a, so this is a reformulated highlight orange, and this is a Sunrise Rice Shift. This is by TKB Trading Company out of Oakland, California. So I mix these with the deep base that I'm using in my mix and you'll see if you look below if you look down there you'll see um, my recipe I'll have it at the bottom with all the brands that I use for mixing on the Shelly technique so I am using the Australian Floetrol in my cell activators other than that I make all my colors with the same recipe whether it be Australian Floetrol or the US Floetrol. So um, it's an iridescent shift. I just mixed it with the deep base and some, some, uh, what I use is Joe's Sonia with the polyacrylic and my deep base. Like I said, it'll be down below. And I didn't put any other color in here but the powders. So I mixed that up. We'll see how that goes. Everybody's doing the iridescent stuff, so let's see how that looks. I also have my sticks taped to the back. Now, I, on the, I don't know, the last video I showed you, well, I don't know when I'm gonna, what order I'm gonna put them in, but um, I taped the sticks. That way my gloves can last a little longer. This is so messy that, um, I don't want to have to change my gloves. I want to just be able to wipe them off and reuse them at least for four coasters, but it gets really messy. This helps stay off your glove, and at the end, I just grab it and twist the sticks off. I left a couple the last time on while it dried, and as it dried perfect, it was just harder, even though just harder to get the sticks off, and I want to be able to reuse the sticks, so you need to wipe them off when they're still wet or they're gonna have bumps in them and then it won't dry. So I don't wanna waste these big sticks. I get these at Home Depot in the paint department. It's like 99 cents for a dozen, something like that. So let's get started. I'm using the Satin Color Place Walmart paint. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed you up right here. And if you haven't looked at any of my other videos on this technique, please check them out. I'll put a card that you click on and it'll take you to, I have a playlist. All right, let's get going.
I'm going to put them down in a different order. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the middle because I want to get some contrast with the cell activator. I think I'm just going to do the black cell activator. I'm going to go ahead and use the blower on this one. Let's see how that turns out. So. Okay, I use this handy little blower. It comes with different ends. I've used this for Dutch pours too before. This is a nice little, and the key is to hold it up high so you're, you're able to come down slowly with it to spread out that cell activator. Pretty. Lots of cells, but let's see what, see what happens.
swipe. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. Please subscribe. Have a great night. Bye.